Hey, hey everybody, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage, back to talk about the T500s. Now I've got two of them. Both of these are now Vorons. So, or Voron hot ends, I guess you would say. So direct drive extruder, Vorons, I'm running Bamboo X1 hot ends. The big difference is this is the original Voron build, which requires a U2, U2C and a RP2040, I believe. And those require firmware and CAN bus and all sorts of craziness, all right? And it's not bad. You raise your bed, you set up the Voron, and go from there. But a lot of people have a hard time with the, the firmware. So what I've done is I've built my own Voron um, I had to raise the lid about 10 millimeters and I'd made my own kind of cable restraint for it. And what you see here in the mess is the stock T500 board. So it uses the board that's on the hot end. And I basically cut all the wires off the stock hot end and reused them and did everything. So this is a hundred percent working. It's using a Bamboo Labs X1 hot end as well. There's all sorts of options for those. But it's basically a standard Voron build with a couple additions. So I also had to rebuild the adapter for the, the uh, tap. And that uses this extension for the X stop um, on the, the X end stop. So this was moved from the back to the front. Your LED wires now go all the way down to your main board. So you do have to open this up and wire those in with a two pin and one pin connector. But the majority of this really is just wiring. Um, it's really getting everything in place and doing a standard Voron build without the difficulty of doing firmware upgrades. So that's the big key there. I actually do have an adapter for this. I just haven't put in place. So basically the adapter actually comes out flat here and kind of is a addition to helping with the actual uh, making sure this doesn't come out. And I'm just trying to decide how long I want it to come out to attach to this cable bridge because it because it's twisted, um, because of the way this wire is, I'm just kind of debating on how I want to set that up. But, and of course I get an MCU error as soon as I power up. Um, what's going on here? Timer too close. Corrected. That's interesting. I probably loosened one of the wires actually because I was probably messing with this uh, wire here. That's a lot of times what it is, is these wires, if you don't have them snapped in completely, you will see an MCU here. Yep. So just did a firmware restart after pu pushing that wire back in and boom, back up and working. As you can see, here we are, lights on. Go ahead and do a home homing of all real quick. That way you can see. See, we're gonna move over here. Stop. So this also, like this other Voron builds, it uses sensorless homing. This still maintains all the standard homing configurations. And as you can see, the tap sensor is working properly. Go back to this here. We'll heat everything up real quick just to show you that it's working. And the hot end heats up fast. We'll do 30 on the, the bed. The bed is still very slow. I mean, it's still using a stock um, heater on this one. Uh, I do have instructions out for, you know, replacing the hot end MOSFET, but it's not necessary for any of this. But in the end, I just wanted to go through and basically show you guys, hey, there is a build for this. It is much easier than the previous build. So as long as you can 
print ABS or you have access to get the Voron parts on Etsy or or other places. You have to print some, you know, bed risers. So you do have to remove four bolts from both sides of the bed and put risers on there. That's what allows this tap connector to work because this big box will get in the way otherwise. So with this in its position, you have to make up for that box. Um, that's why you have to raise the bed, but you're really not losing anything. But as you can see, everything's good. Hot ends hot, bed's heating. I've done prints with this already. I've still not done anything major print wise. I've printed a couple pieces um, and haven't got it dialed in with the 0.6 tip I have on this one. But uh, it is working good. I've been going crazy with this one. Um, it's been my workhorse while trying to get this one up and running. And so, I mean, it's re the same thing essentially, except for it uses a 0.4 tip. Um, and I'm using a glass bed on it. And I'm using the bed sheet on this. Now, it's a honey badger sheet. And I really like this, this sheet. So, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you. This is a major upgrade. A lot of people hate the hot end that comes with the T500. It's, it, it's you can't get parts for it. It's kind of got its own little issues, but with the Voron, parts are readily available. You can use all sorts of hot ends depending on which bottom part you print and vice versa. So um, just look in the description. I'm gonna list my GitHub with all the instructions on doing this build. Um, let me know your thoughts, questions, anything you need to know. As far as this goes, uh, I'm more than happy to help you, but I uh, just wanted to get it out there, and peace out, guys.